It's no wonder that such an action-packed show like SWAT has lost so many of its cast members. This really cool cop show where we chase bad guys and bad things happen and we got crazy action. Let's find out why Stephanie Sigmund left the series so abruptly. Discover if there was any bad blood between Lindy Greenwood and the showrunners. And learn why Dominique Luca really spent so much time away from his team. Let's start! What happened to Captain Cortez? Fans loved the complicated dynamic between Hondo and Jessica. She was a well-respected commanding officer for the first two seasons. So it's no wonder that she was offered an undercover position with the FBI. Cortez announced that she planned to take a five-week trial period in the position, but she seemed to have no intention of leaving the LAPD for good. However, when the first episode of Season 3 aired, fans couldn't help noticing the character's absence. It looked like she had taken the undercover role on a permanent basis. This led viewers to wonder why the actress, Stephanie Sigmund, had left the series so abruptly, as no official announcement was made. However, Stephanie soon revealed the reason why she left the show in her social media, saying, Jessica Cortez is on to new adventures, and so am I. Sigmund also added that she was happy with the work she did on the show and was thankful for the experience. SWAT's executive producer quickly chimed in to wish the actress well. In his tweet, he revealed that it was a pleasure to write for Stephanie and see what she did with the role each week. I look forward to seeing what she conquers next professionally, he shared. The tweet was followed by heartfelt messages by other members of the cast and crew. So it seemed like the decision to leave was undertaken amicably, and she was keen to take on new projects. However, Sigmund didn't elaborate on what her next venture would be. So fans assumed her abrupt exit from the show was probably related to her recently announced pregnancy. But the actress later clarified that her decision was strictly professional and made before she was pregnant. One thing has nothing to do with the other, she stressed. Still, since leaving the series, Stephanie hasn't been a part of any new project, which means that she's now spending more time with her beloved family, husband Brian Andrew Mendoza and their son, who was born in 2019. Soon after Jessica's departure, SWAT fans had every reason to worry about another cast member. We'll get to who in a bit. But right now, let's talk about a loss no one saw coming. Why was Erica written off? She was eager to be a part of the SWAT team and had a bright future ahead of her. Unfortunately, Erica Rogers was fatally shot on the field while filling in for missing team member Deacon. She's dead. Oh, what are you talking about? Who's dead? Erica. Erica Rogers? There was no evidence that the writers were looking for a reason to get rid of this character, and although actress Lindy Greenwood didn't specify if she knew about Erica's fate in advance, it seems like there was no bad blood between her and the showrunners. Thanks for watching Erica's Journey, y'all! Was a fun ride with a great crew, shared Greenwood. However, there might have been a scheduling conflict as Lindy was also part of the sci-fi show The Expanse. But for the moment, she doesn't have any projects in the works. It's possible she's taken a break from her hectic schedule. Two years ago, Lindy's father brought her a dank old camper as a wedding gift. Can't wait to start fixing this puppy up, she wrote in the caption to her Instagram post. So maybe Lindy and her husband Ben Jameson are now traveling across the country together. Now let's get back to the show. The SWAT team had a hard time dealing with Erica's loss, and fans were afraid they were going to lose another officer in season 4. Is Lena Esco leaving SWAT? There were definitely many reasons why viewers were concerned that Lena's days on the show were numbered. Chris Alonso narrowly avoided death at the end of Season 3. She was shot, but thankfully a bulletproof vest saved her life. Also, Chris and Erica were very close, and Alonso blamed herself for the incident. I don't know what to do. We've never lost a teammate before. SWAT doesn't lose officers. The tragedy triggered her drinking problem, and she seemed to be on the fast track to self-destruction. That's why some fans thought that this emotional storm could lead to Chris taking another job. Moreover, another team member was introduced, tactical medic Nora Fowler. And although she joined the crew on a temporary basis, many viewers wondered if the writers were setting her up to be a permanent replacement. They became even more concerned when Chris got the chance to represent the team internationally. Thankfully, it turned out that Lena Esco wasn't leaving. And the storyline with her character's trip to Europe was actually created to get in line with the arc of another cast member, who was absent for a while. Why did we almost lose Luca? After losing two important characters, SWAT fans worried about Dominique Luca's fate. He injured his hip and had surgery at the end of Season 3, and later struggled to pass his fitness test. Dominique spent most of Season 4 far away from the rest of the team. He did, however, show up on video calls while in Germany. 
Although the show explained why Dominique was away, it was less clear why Kenny Johnson was missing. Fans speculated that it was because he was appearing on The Masked Singer, but that turned out to be false. Amazingly, the real reason why Johnson couldn't appear on the set was the same as Luca's. The actor sustained an injury while filming a scene on a helicopter for the show. Kenny had to undergo surgery and then physical therapy. Also, he was engaged in legal action with Sony Pictures Television over the incident. So the writers found a way to still write him in until all the legal issues were resolved. That's why Luca's storyline was developed around him being in Germany for so long. Kenny worked hard in therapy to reunite with his co-stars as soon as possible. And everybody was excited when he finally announced his return on Twitter adding, I've missed it like a part of my heart was missing. It actually ate. Yeah. Oh, so. Hey. Hey, you bring us a gift? Ah, you're looking at it. Fortunately, Johnson is fully recovered now. One of his first scenes after his return to the series was a three-mile run sequence, which was quite a big deal. Moreover, Kenny was able to film a movie in the time he was off SWAT. He was among the cast of a horror movie named Howl. Hopefully, we won't lose any cast members in the current season. Still, no one is safe. Thanks for watching! You can also check out our video about the real life partners of the SWAT cast. Stay awesome!